is going on? Like literally, all of a sudden it seems like there's this epidemic. Every woman that I have spoken to either has a thyroid problem or knows someone that does. Absolutely. Or has some issue with their adrenal glands. What's happening is we're kind of at a critical juncture or a perfect storm where all the different kinds of stressors that we're experiencing, environmental, social, personal, economic, and then hidden stressors, the environmental ones being big hidden stressors, we don't see the toxins in our environment, but a lot of the toxins in our environment directly bind to and affect our thyroid function in combination with the fact that less than 14% of people are getting the fruits that we're supposed to get every day and 16% getting the vegetables. So on the one hand, we're undernourished and on the other hand, we're overstressed. Yeah, and let's talk about you. women for a yes, second. Yes, food journals, lack of self-care, lack of time to just hit the pause button and be without feeling guilty. I mean, some of us may actually hit the pause button, but even when we do, we're sitting there, you know, watching some TV show thinking we should be doing something different. We've been fed this multitasking, you know, BS for the past, how long? You know, 25 years. We have some of the lowest health and happiness indexes in the world. And basically each of us is kind of considered a cog in the culture's productivity machine. So I've actually kind of started to see self-care as an act of civil disobedience and revolutionary behavior. So Aviva, do you take a spoonful of your own medicine? I do. Meditation, time in nature, better sleep, happiness, joy, the glass of red wine that Dumping the martyrdom. Pleasure. Dumping the martyrdom, absolutely. I mean, we are so hard on ourselves. So you've got the woo-woo yep, background. I got the woo-woo. And you can slap that science down on top of it. Yes. I think a, a beautiful way to end this would be if you could just read the dedication of this book for us. Yes. All women who have felt unseen and unheard, you are not invisible and you are not alone. To all have been told, it's all in your head. It is not. And to all who have felt you've been sleeping for too long, rise and shine. Let's move mountains together. And it's based on a proverb. It's a Chinese proverb that says, when sleeping women wake, mountains move. So right. thanks for moving those mountains, sister. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>